ladies and gentlemen, side strafe back with some more World of Tanks. And obviously, the number one request has been to get into some artillery. And just a disclaimer, obviously, before we begin, I really don't play Artie that often. Um, it's fun sometimes. On the flip side, it feels kind of cheap, you know, just having that bird's eye view in general. Uh, just, I don't know, in gameplay standards, feels kind of weak sauce, but uh, when you do play it and you are hitting targets, it's kind of fun. In fact, sometimes it just feels like you're cheating. But uh, this is an assault mission. Um, I did manage to pick up the Vesp here. I had some extra points, so we're a couple tiers higher. Now I'm just kind of waiting to see some targets. With artillery, you need to know the maps like the back of your hand, and you need to know them for a couple of different game modes, uh, you know, for the King of the Hill, the Assault, and whatnot, because you might have to defend them from different positions, and you're going to be looking at targets from all kinds of areas. Now, there's a T-50, kind of a hard target to hit, but we're going to try to do it. Really want to be patient. Did he move? Don't know. Firing. Eh. He's dead. We destroyed him. And that's artillery. <laughs> like I said, at times it can feel like you're cheating. But um, it's all about unit prediction. Sometimes you got to shoot, lead the target, figure out where they're going, even when they're invisible. So we've got this guy slowly moving forward. But I need to wait till my reticle shrinks um, to go for this shot. Because right now I'm having to actually turn my my tracks around. And he's down, so actually we're going to go for this one. Because every time you rotate, and that's a miss. Because what's happening is that... Uh-oh, I'm getting shot at. Back out. T-46. Oh, somebody saved me. But now we're open to counter batteries, so what we want to do is back off and go somewhere else. all about that prediction but anyway as I was saying when you're in your reticle mode sniper mode uh, and you're and you're turning your tracks and everything it's uh, messing with your accuracy and just aiming ability so now there was a target right about here gonna fire no dice I believe I've got a contact right behind me awesome but I'm stuck in a reload, so it's all about going evasive. Perhaps keep the whole front. Turned into tank destroyer mode and just took him out. So this gun versus an M3 Stewart. Obviously going to make short work of it. Okay, so right now uh, there are two pieces of artillery there, which means counter battery. They're waiting to get their hands on me. And we do have a damaged track, so honestly, I'm just going to go ahead and repair it to help my mobility just a little bit. Why not? But I want to get out of this position so they don't have a chance to shoot me. We're going to hang out here. We've got the camo net equipped, of course, now. The problem is maybe... All right, so the housing is not going to be an issue. No targets on the map just yet. It's just time to wait for a good opportunity. This is where your scout tanks come into play. Very effective mid-game. So there's our target. Wait for the reticle, and we're beaten to it. Dang. That would have been a nice shot. Contact. He's going to be lit like a Christmas tree, though. Everybody's going to go after him in a second. Firing. Close, but no cigar. So at this point, still nothing on the minimap. I obviously don't have all my upgrades as well, so 
you know that can factor in right now I've got the top engine and tracks but that's about it this is what do we got an M4 I just don't have the accuracy at the moment I will take the shot when I have it some other targets have lit up and unfortunately we are having to perhaps predict this one he is coming in on a friendly artillery piece uh, it may have been best if I just stayed focused on the targets to the north. As we are losing this game, there's not really any chance of a comeback, unfortunately. Uh, there is sight line on a tank destroyer to the north. It's gone. I'm worried about that M4. We do have a friendly artillery piece of grill just hanging out. So it's down to us. Well, at this point, you can really just hope to maybe take somebody with you. I mean... Okay, so did he get the... Uh, oh, he killed the M4. Nice job, Grill. All right, so now we got a Panzer. And... Let's see, he's gone. All we can hope for is that the grill will light him up, and then we can perhaps assist. And we've got a contact on the mini, so I might have to fall back onto this target. Bring her about. At this point, we're just waiting for the tank to come around. The grill is down. And I'm just going to go for a shot. Ah, we're losing this to to the bad accuracy. Might have just been better off going into tank destroyer mode. Because now we're screwed having to wait on this reload time. There's a grill. And no dice. So, you know, that's pretty much artillery for you. Sometimes it's fun. Sometimes it's kind of... A pain in the neck. I'm not. A, I'm not a huge artillery player. I'm not an expert by any means. There are way better guides out there if that's what you're looking for. Um, I'm just going to cover what I know tactically to be sound. But again, uh, let's just take a look at what's going on here. I need the new gun. So a little bit faster firing and some uh, extra penetration values there at the end. And sometimes they don't show you all the little stats that are running in the background, so perhaps it's uh, got some extra features that we're not aware of. And then uh, I've got the upgraded engine and then uh, the second, the suspension, just to kind of help out with that. I don't even have the radio, so we're noobing it up. Plus our crew is only 75, uh, 75%. So with that, let's take it into a, another battle and see what we can get. I went the German route as far as artillery because it's always between, I always notice that uh, it's between this one and the grill at the earlier tiers. It's they, every time I look in the forums, everybody says that those are some of the best. So I just went with these. I've played around. I have unlocked some of the American ones, and then I sold them. But um, originally I was working on some of the American artillery pieces, but uh, I went ahead and sold them after some time. We are going to pretty much figure out that we want to... ...hang out in a bush somewhere. Okay. Well, this one's tough because in you know cities, pretty much artillery worst nightmare. All the buildings, um, as you can see, pose a, a threat to you. You can't shoot over them. Uh, you know some artillery units have better angles, so they can they can you know raise the gun higher, which means they'll go over uh, taller buildings and things like that. But 
Uh, in this case, I think we're not going to be able to do anything about it. So as you can see, I can't uh, arc the shot over the buildings enough. So the city is pretty much useless, which means we need to come about and engage these targets here. Toast. Where's this other tank destroyer? He's just chilling. I was just going for the blind shot. Or the inaccurate shot. Let's see if we can take out the wedding cake. If I could reload in time. There we go. He's done. Sometimes I guess you just need to fire even though your shot's not accurate because it takes so long to get the reticle to where it needs to be. So this is a tough one because there could be friendly fire here. Shot out. And he's dead. And here's a T-46. Let's see if he'll just stay busy there. Come on, reload. Looks like he's going to back up. How far back is he going? Shot out. We've Done. Alright. Now, next threat is through the city. And once they come around this corner, we're going to be open to fire. So we got to be careful here. And we've got two other Arties on that side. Now, this is where I last spotted him, I think, via the radar. And, oh, all the way up to us. Um, pretty much I could enter TD mode here. Wait for it. Shot out. He's down, but unfortunately, we've got this target here. T-46 coming in to run interference. I'm just going to try to get this last shot off. Nope, not happening. Well, we got four, so... That's a lot more than the uh, other Arty did. And we had, I think, what? Two other units, I think, with us. But uh, it's all, again, I mean, to my knowledge, it's just the best artillery players know the map like the back of their hand. Um, know how to predict. Know how to pay attention to small details, like watching for trees falling down or fences breaking, or houses getting smashed. They wait for that kind of stuff. So even if the target's invisible, you know, like, oh, there's something coming down here, fire, guess. It's all guesswork. Those are the best artillery players ever. So, best guys can fire blind. Oh, I'm surprised that didn't do any damage to him. He only had 1%. But, <laughs> it's... The funny thing about artillery is it's actually, it's probably one of the easiest things to play. But people make it hard because they're a little impatient and they don't really look for the signs and they don't know how to predict movement. And I'm by no means good at artillery. But, uh, you know, all things considered, I can do pretty well. So next, I'm guessing I just want to wait for this gun and... Hopefully that won't take too long, but we'll do another one here. Go into battle. Like I said, it's it's very satisfying because artillery has the biggest uh, guns in the game. So when you hit something, you know, it's, it's pretty painful. And just sometimes that instantaneous blast of damage, you know, it, there's just that awesome satisfaction. So it can be fun to play. Uh, the most annoying thing is, of course, reload time. 
I think some of the American artillery has faster reloads, but weaker damage overall. But again, I mean, you saw we were able to smash those tanks, and they weren't, they weren't really huge tanks or anything, but... You know, when they got hit, it was pretty much over. And it does pretty well in tank destroyer mode as well, so... This one, we're dealing with King of the Hill, so... We can know that there's probably going to be a fight uh, left and right. Because sometimes they like to meet each other at uh, spawn points or in the middle, and then there's going to be a group that's going to hit uh, the flag itself. So I kind of just want to try to set up somewhere that I can uh, perhaps engage both targets. Uh, at this point... This rock formation is going to be in my way. T-50 and a Stug just hauling. It's weird. All right. So here we are. And what do we got? So rock is... Oh, actually, well, we could. But honestly, wedding cake. Once I have this shot, firing. Boom. 52%. And he's like, yeah, I'm leaving. Very accurate. I'm assuming that the German artillery is obviously more accurate, too. So here's a reload. We don't even see him. Oh, there he is. Firing. Ah. Oh, landed short. I'm going to blame that on the crew. He's still holding position, waiting on that reload. And is he going to move? On the way. Ah, just a splash. Not enough. That might cause him to take off. Let's see, where's he going to go? Yep, yeah, the, now I've got the rock in my way. So that's pretty much the end of that engagement. Uh, let's see, what's he going to do? What's he thinking about? And he's done. So... That is it for that engagement. Uh, so far... 5-0. Let's see what we've got. We've got a formation moving to the capture point. Contact. On a panzer. Bring her back. And he's toast. You do not want to be the first one lit up. All right, so game over to that. I'm going to push up a little bit. Hello. Some big boys, some juicy targets. Let's see what do we got. And can we hit? Yes, we can. Okay, both 100%. Uh, we've lost one. There's another KV. And I'm going to try to hit. Firing. 70, not much. Although it is a KV-1, so we'll see how this goes. This is going to be pretty rough here. It's a nice grouping. But firing. Ah. Not close enough. And we've lost everything. Nope, and they're back for a little bit. If somebody can keep them lit, that would be nice. All right, KV-1. Moving. Lost the shot. Having to reacquire. And there just appears to be a rock somewhere that's bugging me on that shot. So maybe we can go for this Panzer. This KV-1 is actually a little bit more damaged. There's something in my line of sight right here. Taking the shot. There's a good prediction, but only negative nine. Uh, we are capping the point, so... Not sure how much damage I can do against this thing. It looks like we've got a, a penetration problem with this. And no dice, just the range was bad. So, at this point, it is time to back out. Uh, I think that they're pretty much going to come for me.
And this is all about, I can see, in terms of tank destroyer mode. However, if we can... Oh, I was just as I was about to pull the trigger, I get one-shotted by that beast. Yeah, not happening. So, you know, again, like last game was was awesome. This game, nah. Not much happening there. And, of course, too, the other game I was a higher tier, I think. Uh, this one we were kind of, you know... Closer towards, uh, closer to the bottom, but uh, we did what we could. Perhaps I could have uh, put myself in a different spot. Maybe I could have moved up to the uh, uh, the king of the hill point. You know, we're still gonna win the game, but I just didn't do enough. So, and that's that. So honestly, what do we got? Hits on target out of seven shots, only three. And the ones that did hit really wasn't much except for the Lee. One was a splash. Uh, so you do need to pick your targets. I'm not too familiar with, you know, what this gun's capable of, you know, versus a KV-1. Didn't seem to do so hot. Uh, normally the, the primary attribute of artillery is the fact that you're hitting weaker top armor. So if it's actually hitting the sides and things like that, sometimes it's not the greatest because it's usually high explosive. But all in all... Uh, you know, that's pretty much how I play Artie. Uh, I could probably use some more practice. I'm sure I'll do some more videos for it uh, since we've, you know, unlocked this. And uh, I would recommend... My recommendation is the German line. Uh, Vesp and Grill at the early stages. You can get these pretty quickly. And uh, they're pretty dang accurate, as you can see. And the damage is, is pretty nice as well. American Artillery... This guy's fun early on because he shoots a little faster, and I think he's got some just be a better armor, but not that armor is what you're looking for. This thing sucks. Uh, I hear the priest is not that great, but once you get into these guys, I think from what I've heard that these are a little bit uh, better, if not some of the best pieces of already getting into the big boys. Um, but, again, I see a lot of... I think I, if, I, if I had to guess... I would say more. I would say more than anything. I see more German artillery, but um, you know, Russians, of course, got some advantages to it as well. But uh, yeah, that's it. So, anyways, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for joining me. I will see you on the next one.